What's going on YouTube? Um, last night I was trying to do the build video with the GoPro. I was having battery issues, power issues. As you can see, it's charged. I plugged it up to my computer um, this morning. Went to go uh, upload the videos to the PC. And as it was uploading, it was deleting them off the GoPro. So I had like a whole bunch of videos on the GoPro for me dirt biking or on my PC for me dirt biking and stuff. So I wanted to clean up some videos. I ended up deleting the file of this year, this yesterday, last night, of me building the axles. And I feel bad because I want to continue to build, but the first part is the intricate part, you know. Here's your page with all your parts. First part is building the axles. Um, I want to talk a little bit about it in my vlog. So I got the axles built, and the main parts is your links. Is getting the links built, um, building the CVDs. You know, getting on in there and building the CVDs. Now I didn't have to put the CVDs together; they were already put together. So I just had to like, you know, pop them in. Like here, in the directions, it's showing that, you know, you put the OHL, the 21-625 pin inside the ball stud when you put it in the cab with the little ball stud. This was already put together with the bearing already compressed on. All I had to do is put it inside of here. And I had an extra one of those, and I was like, oh man, maybe I'm supposed to use the shorter ones. But it turns out that you use them, oops, for the rear inside which I'll show you in a second um, putting your ball in putting the ball ends in you know you want to use your double ball in on the passenger side make sure that your gear is on the driver's side and you're putting the cap in and you're putting your mount on for your links at that mount you want it to be on the hump just like this you want your gear on this side on the drive. If this is the front of the truck, your uh, the gear will be over here like that. You know, the hump over here. You don't want to put your uh, your stuff together and your axle sitting like that. That's wrong for the front of the truck, front of the Jeep. Um, for the rear, your links, they go on the inside not the outside last night when I was videotaping I was tired I ended up putting them on the outside just like the uh, the front and on this one you want your axle or you want your gear to be the pin gear and everything you want that to be on the passenger side so it's reverse and it's together like that on the Jeep so like that um I think I'm going to go ahead and continue the video, the build video, but I wanted to really get into the axles and I was, you know, there was some parts that, uh, it was a little challenging, but it was fun. They're way tinier than the, uh, F-150s axles, which is epic. It's more scale. I like that a lot. I like the tiny parts and stuff. I like the CVDs and stuff like that. And uh, they're pretty cool. I would like to see some metal axles. I want to get the metal axles for the F-150, but I'd like to see tiny little metal axles for the... Because those front axles are like... The metal axles just shrunken down. Um, another thing about the servo mount. This is how you would put it together. You want to mount your servo onto the uh, axle. I went ahead and uh, didn't put that mount on because I'm choosing, I'm choosing to put the uh, servo onto the chassis. And then putting your axles together, you know, you got the long one. Make sure that you put your clip in there and there's a little ring, a little red ring that's going to go around that gear that's going to hold that pin on. And you go ahead and slide your bearings in, put some grease on both of those gears, kind of like pack it inside the housing, you want some grease in there. Make sure that your bearings is, because there's two bearings above that pinion gear or below it and then one on the outside there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, 
kind of maybe moving a little fast, but let's try and talk about, here's that other piece that I was talking about, how that's going to go onto the, like, there's a bolt part onto the axle shaft that that will fit onto, and you press a bearing into the coupling, into there, and there's going to be like a little, it's not really focusing, but it's focusing on the book. When you put this on, make sure you put it down, and then push again, and it'll snap into place. And then you go ahead and put your screws in when you're putting those on. Um, the steering one, it's 9mm.